Hello everybody, we are here today at Carberry Tower, about five miles outside of Edinburgh. Carberry Tower is absolutely steeped in history, dating back to the 1500s when Mary Queen of Scots did battle nearby on Carberry Hill. This is our Valentine's Day treat. We're going into Carberry Tower for afternoon tea. You ready to say it? Yeah. Welcome to Rog Vlog. <laughs> Carberry Tower's gatehouse on the main road is really impressive and sets the scene for the medieval splendours to come. This long tree-lined driveway sweeping up to the mansion house is so cool! Now, Carberry Tower isn't a castle, it's actually classed as a mansion house, but to me, it looks more like a fortified mansion house. There are definitely some battlements up there on the top. History first mentions Carberry Tower back in the 11th century, but the majority of these buildings and the estate date back to about 1547. Before we have afternoon tea, I think we'll have a wander around the gardens. And I think they call this bit the Champagne Terrace. Despite the blue skies, it's really cold today, so we won't be sitting out here sipping champagne. But see these branded seats. Perrier Jouet is a very high-end champagne brand. Okay, let's head inside for some afternoon tea and hopefully some amazing food. Inside it's slightly spooky and these stairs are very creaky, but I love the feeling of history. They serve the afternoon tea here in the impressive drawing room with lots of windows looking out over the grounds. Also check out on the walls all the artwork. The website had already given us a tantalising glimpse of what to expect for our afternoon tea. Afternoon tea starts at £40. You can upgrade to a G&T afternoon tea for £50 or a Prosecco afternoon tea for £50, which is what we chose, or go for champagne for £60. They brought us a starter of carrot and lentil soup served in these cute little cups. And that's really tasty. Never thought of putting carrots in with lentils. Ah, 
and here's the main event, the afternoon tea food served in its traditional three tiers. I think the idea is to start at the bottom with the sandwiches, work your way up to the scones in the middle and then finish with all those absolutely amazing looking sweets on the top. Of course, because I'm not much of a tea drinker, what we're really having today is afternoon coffee. <laughs> Did you put the cream on first or the jam on first? Well, this side, I put the jam on first. Next side, I'll try with the cream on first. Does it make any difference? Don't know, I'll tell you after I've tried it. And of course, because I don't eat dairy, I don't have to make a choice. It's just jam. <laughs> and now the be studies is stones. So what have we got? We've got carrot cake, shortbread, what looks like death by chocolate, and some sort of, I don't know, moussey cake? Moussey cake? Moussey cake. But we've also got bits of fruit. Mmm. I always like to start with the death by chocolate. Well, that afternoon tea was superb. We're so pleasantly stuffed. We also made a note to come back and try out the Campaign Room Bistro again. We've been before. It serves amazing brunches, lunches and dinners. Then, time for a quick wander around the rest of the hotel. I think Mrs. E was getting a bit warm in there. It was a bit hot. And you did say you wanted the fire on at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice up in there. What do you think of the afternoon tea at Carberry Tower? It's really nice, actually. Uh, it's a beautiful setting. I've had better afternoon teas, but it was, it was delicious and it was worth the money. And like I say, the room up there is beautiful. I thought, the, I thought the coffee was really good. I don't know what the brand was, but it was really good coffee. And of course, that glass of Prosecco started the afternoon tea off perfectly. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rog Vlog. And until the next video, remember, there's always something to see and to eat. So get out, out there, there and, and find, find it. it. <laughs> Hello, we're here at Carberry Tower, which is just outside of Edinburgh, probably a bit of there. It dates back to the 1500s. It has associations with Mary Queen of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots.